Hello everyone, my name is Overgaming Mr. Me and today some more Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicle X. And now today, uh, well, actually last episode, once again, as per usual, I have no idea of what we did, but unfortunately for us, I do know what we're gonna be doing this episode. As today, we shall begin our task with Lisa in the Industrial District. Should be fairly interesting. So let's go right ahead and try to help the population doing whatever the fuck they need, which is apparently a lot of things. Welcome, garbage got you down, haunted by hazmat. Well then, worry no more, my trashy friends. A humble ways processing units have you covered. I am the director here, name's Lisa. So, need anything to dispose of? Whatever you got, our ultra high temp furnace will make it go away. Well, Mmm, I do have some clutter to clean. I have a lot of useless weaponry and armor sets in my thing. But sure, let's accept it, why not? Yeah, I kinda figure, and honestly, most blades don't generally spend a lot of time sitting around at home cleaning. As soon as I get this place working, there will be lining up the door with all kinds of spinkable garbage. Honestly, I don't know where you guys find s even find some of this stuff. Yeah, I, I don't blame you, I find a lot of stuff from alien things like you wouldn't think like a fucking Potamus has a Gatling gun in his guts you know when he scavenged it but whatever uh, but we're on way under staff if I don't hire somebody soon we'll never catch up human alien whoever I don't care as long as they're good what actually you seem like an expert I bet you know just about all there is to know about the difference newbound races huh uh, so then, know any of you that'd be especially a good fit for the career of waste management? Please? So, for now, we have Pollution Solution. Talk about one hell of a verse. I, I kinda like that pun, actually. Or is it a pun? I, I don't know. This is the owner of the staff, Lisa, with a new LA pollution problem. So you need to find a suitable recruit to help the Pollution Solution. Let's just set the mission. So, we have three choices. We'd either have the mount on, the Nopon, Udozaru Bolgon, which, you know, a Nopon, it's a merchant. It doesn't know how to use waste. A man is all technology like. So it's all about weaponry, armor, uh, technological advances, and not really about waste management. The Zaru Bolgon, though, are all about that Volton. Where do you find Volton? That's right, in the trash. Wait, that creepy mask guy? The only mystery wrapped in the thing, I totally don't need anything to know about him. You sure they're, you know, thrustworthy? Sounds like something to look more existently during my copious amount of free weekends time. Ha! <laughs> Kidding. Uh, forget that noise, I'll just trust you. All right, then go pet on visit and see if I can't, can't count anybody for the plant. Utherian Zurector, I have news. So much garbage came to the loose track of duties. Then waste unit became angry. Started spitting smoke. It looks bad. Uh oh. What in the- Ah! Oh, it's overheating! When? How did- Why did you let it go this bad before doing something? I did lots of things. I hit machines pretty time. Then I shoved jump to rush very hard. Oh, for the love of- Ah! Oh. This hiring is an HR disaster. I blame myself. Okay, I'll go scramble to find an emergency hire. Meanwhile, you could probably get help out. I need you to use Frontier Air to give me three hunks of Everfreeze or for coolants, okay? Oh, if you run into trouble finding any, uh, ten bits of Jiggy. 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 Woo! I don't understand what she's saying. You'll do it, right? But because I'm a huge flood of pollutants is going to spend to the city if you don't. So, yeah, pretty much have to. Oh, and the sooner the better, obviously. Uh, we're so close to dinner too. If that was contaminated, I'm going to chew it out six ways from Sundays. Well, luckily we have something for us. We have 94 pieces of over or Everfreeze ore. I mean, ain't no way we aren't gonna solve that problem. I mean, at 94 pieces, you you think I'm pretty much settled, which I am. So I got everything, Lisa. Ah, oh, perfect. You get the Everfreeze Forge, the Eco Copper. You won't fix the problem, but then we make it a whole lot better. Oh, there you go. You have this one. Well, that's cool, but yeah, okay, great. This should bring down the temperature to the unit. 
Okay, thanks. Hey, no. Oh, bonus. Thanks for your advice. Let's get out some Zarubogan, like you said, and as soon as I turn up, these have all the contaminants out of the air. Smoke used to be below and like a gangbuster, but you should be returning to normal soon. Uh, a certain unit in track are amazing, aren't you guys? Honestly, they're like garbage wizard. Oh, you were to blade them previously. <laughs> I did not know you were acquainted with Lisa. I was given the opportunity to devote a nice and exceptionally of a nice word in here. <laughs> it has been a long time since I felt so sorted. <laughs> this place is akin to gold by the guardians of bounty, or more of Bedon. I have no idea what you're talking about, but it sounds great. E yeah, it Mmm, yeah, sure, why not? Ah, if you don't stop right now, I'm going to go bug your vault and right into you, Zorboggin! Sorry, but I, I can't, I just... I can't take it anymore. Okay, I've decided to give up on ever understanding your weird jargon. But seriously, thanks for everything for, for me. But also... Hello, I'm this Bogan, uh, technical advisor for this place. Uh, yes, well, I, I would like to, 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 to have this. Even with full or son of man on tech, I couldn't have made the old this claim, you know? But then, the Zerbogan came in and, and, and they did it somehow. Well, what he said, and you and the Zerbogan saved this place and this city, and I didn't get yelled at. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! Pollution solution, mission complete. The results the hiring of Zerbogan help prevent further damage, which made Lisa's day. Yeah, so you either need Jagito pieces of copper or you just use Frontier Knight, really. That, that's that's phenomenal. That's quick mission for a quick day. That's a whole lot of talking, though. But yeah, that's already one wishing. Da one wishing. I wish you a Merry Christmas. But that's already one mission down. Now you may be saying, well, Jesus Christ, we're only six minutes into the episode. What the shit? What are we gonna do otherwise? I mean, you just stand around for like an extended period of time. What else are we gonna do by now? Oh, was that? Well, I got you covered, since our next mission is right here, still in the industrial district, in the Outfitter Test Hangar. Right here, we have Ton Seleg, which is very interesting, because we helped out a lot of Hellions recently, and I do love the Orphrey, so let's just talk to him. Hmm? This matter is far too important to ignore, it represents a serious problem for the Orphrey as well. We will fear will land or secure to humankind in return, I secure it to your sisters. Well, w what are you talking about? It relates to the security of the Bayan water purification plant. There was an incident in which, uh, in which humans were attacked on site by Cantors. We all have a plan to ensure the tragedy is never repeated. It requires you can to participate as well. It is a proposal that would benefit us both. I hope we can work together to make it happen. Uh, sure. What 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 are we getting at here? We propose that auto sentries be used to defend the plant in surrounding areas. You humans are too few numbers, and I accept there is a limit to what we can be asking you feel blades operative. I assume that you are aware that we require a certain heap of water in order to produce. The process by which we manufacture the water relies on the bouillon of the plant functioning. We cannot allow it to jeopardize by primordial creatures and believe this machine is the solution. The other sentries will be on them and fully automatic. This should be more sufficient to defend both the lake and the prefabrication plant itself. We already ordered work on construction of a prototype, but we have come short of a few parts. I would like you to procure the necessary Ouroboros crystal and a ragged getter IP. These looks like very complicated pieces I don't have. That may be problematic. So we can complete our work. You should be able to obtain both outside in New LA. Your help is most appreciated. Please tell me I have them. Oh, thank fucking god I do. Woo! I was worried there for a minute. Good neighbors, help engineer on the sentries to protect the biennial water purification plant and new LA supplies of Serenupa water. Yeah, I will gladly accept this mission. And with that, we already have all the materials. Hey, Tenselag! Work here is nearly complete. Now we're just waiting on the pots are requested. How is your search progressing? Have you procured the Urubugur Scripture and the Gator piece? Wait, why is that? Where can I find this? Okay, no, believe it. Okay, so that makes sense. I have them in Robot Crystal. God, they, they sell for a lot, but I have 37 of them. So that's a frontier now material. All right, let's just give it to them. Flawless work, I see. You found the right man for the job. Once you're installed, we'll be ready to begin combat testing. Your heart will be most welcome with the phase two, if you can spare the time. 
The prototype of the center has already been transported to the unfinished test center. If you are able to assist us once again, please meet me after they are making unnecessary preparation. So all we gotta do now is go to the unfinished test center. Shall we? Yeah, we shall. Alright, once we go in, as you can see, there's sentries. So once again, talk to Tanselag. There's a lot of talking today. I'm not exactly a fan of it, but you gotta do what you're gonna do. Thank you for coming, I'm just finished uh, making the final adjustments. Well, what do you think, considering it's worth defending the human facility, I tried to cater to the des in design to reflect human taste. You people have a fondness for design like this, no? As such, I trust that you will like it as well. Yeah, it's, it's quite pleasing. Wonderful, all your design crafting according to orphan aesthetic standard ran into problems in that they tend to terrify humans. I'm glad our adjustments were successful. Though it is excellent except that exterior is as important and cutting kind of edge orphan technology inside. I urge you to bring total focus to this this. A moment in attention could lead to grave injury. Are you ready to begin? The more combat data you can provide us, the better. Or the better. Ooh. Actually I don't know. Anyway, let's jump in right into the fight, as soon as it loads. There we go! So let's go right ahead and defeat a fucking auto sentry. Which is a little bit weird, because you need combat data to fight this thing, but clearly you don't give a shit because you're destroying property, but I, I guess I'm just a fool here. Alright, and I, I guess we should probably attack that point. And, and just see how it goes. It's it's almost dead. You know, we're nowhere we're we were not gonna make this. And there we go. We're already done. Thank you. You have given us excellent data. We'll use the result to improve on our design and deploy auto sentry and bus to be on the lake. I'm sure they will keep the water purification plant safe and clear of even the most ferocious primordial creature. And as a result, we will steady supply of pure water, with pu which purifies the desire of water. I will allow us to steadily increase our numbers. All excellent news for us, Orphe. We have good neighbors. Mission complete. Damn, we're just running through damn missions today. <laughs> we're like 12 minutes in the episode. We're already done with like two missions. Holy crap! Well, then again, that that's that, right? Ain't nothing we can't do. Well, I guess there's only one thing to do now. And go on, and might as well do a third mission. I mean, we're just on a roll here. You know, in the meantime, I was like, why not boost our things a little bit further? So, I'm just dumping everything into orphan technology, and uh, there we go. That is every single arm manufacturer complete. Except this one. Alright, right after the little break. Break, break, bre break. <laughs> anyway, here we are in the East Marvel Street Commercial District, and we shall talk to Wa Rawa. Or something on these lines, I'm not exactly sure. Ah, it's not fair, even with all that health. Oh, Warawa kills and can what she wants, or I hate this. But not about to give up. Still, humans must be dreaming up for such things. Well, why are you so upset? I, it's just awful. No matter how many Warawa buy, only bronze card down on Warawa will not even find silver. And if I Warawa go bankrupt before getting precious gold, the Popotamus card. A friend does know about popular mirror life cards, right? Well, I'm not exactly familiar with them, so you have to tell me. The got training comes from pretty pictures of every critter from Mira. Friends seriously behind time for not knowing about them. These days, people young and old from every race obsessed with Mira life cards. There are many cards from lame bronze to shiny silver to super ultra mega amazingly rare gold. But impossible to know what's inside until you open pack. <coughs> Sorry, we're always been buying pack rights and left in effort to get adorable gold, no Popo Thomas card. But no, 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 no luck at all, Warrow, I think maybe it's time to stop depending on luck. Perhaps friend can help Warrow with brain plant. Operation Mega Trade. Follow a plan of Warrow and friend can turn this boring bronze bladder card into amazing gold, no Popo Thomas card. Trade Agreement. Welcome everyone to one of the most knowing fucking missions 
mission in the entire game. Right next to Rise of the R Blood Lobster. Like, those two missions, Trade Agreement and Rise of the Blood Lobster, are probably the longest and most tedious mission of all in this game. And we shall be doing <laughs> this one today. Sorry, Neo is in the midst of Mirror Life Car. Boom! Head up another collection to acquire super rare gold Nopopotamus Nopo card. Accept this mission. Oh, thank you. Why don't I explain straight away? Big feeling of mirror life cards is that no one knows what they get until pack is open. So even this dumb bronze blood card can be available to Fred if they can't find it in pack. Which means Rarara can use, make that to trade for rarer and rarer cards. And finally end up with go on a pop of the Thomas card. See, plan is foolproof. Well, it seems guaranteed to succeed. I don't see a reason why. Rarara grew friend could agree. And once friend gets gold on a pop on Thomas card, Warawa will offer a huge reward. All right, here's useless bronze bladder card. Fred must go in there and trade, trade, trade. Well, let's start this off right away. Now the thing about this mission is, no matter what you do, there there are no specific objectives. You have to specifically find a person that can trade the card to you. Although there are very very different mechanisms and ways and routes to go about this specific mission. Every time you trade a card, you will always go in the right direction, no matter what you do. So, we'll start it off. Just, if you can, you can follow my path, but there's also a link in the description to which path you can specifically take. But no matter what you do, you will always end up in the right direction. Like I said, the only thing you need to do is follow a certain path or just exchange with many people. The path I'm thinking is just one of many. You're not forced to follow uh, this one specifically. But... No matter what you do, you will always end up in the right direction. I cannot keep saying this. And also, there's like 30 different paths. I'm just showing one of them. Yep, and get this. Friend, listen. I have everything now, including the gold car. I think Warren will be pretty happy. Or wa Rawa or something like that. Ah, no, 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 the bronze bladder card! Ah, this makes filthy bladder. This is where I'm supposed to do with all these! Please, friend, it's only help over all. I get out and go around up over the card soon! I did. That shine! Our dog moment. Why are you facing away? I think she's supposed to turn around. Maybe, maybe it's a glitch. Maybe if I. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to have you in the camera shot. Okay, well, this is the best I can do. That China adorableness is a cold Nopopo Thomas card. Or I could swan, or I could run it off into dreamland. A pack of extremely shiny Nopopo Thomas. Yeah, um, I'll stop you. <laughs> or I have this, it's a glorious moment. Or I right, golden Nopopo Thomas off to meet dreamland prince. Uh, apologies, or I get stuck into one of Mirror-like card and forgetting friend who made it possible. Uh, here's thanks for the bottom of my heart of Warara friend should be back to trade for something amazing. Trade agreements results after multiple training session. You eventually acquired the golden Popotamus card. Warara is ecstatic to have received such a rare item. Oh my God! Fuck this mission. Although I do say fuck this mission, but well, you have something else to do instead. Yes, people. Where are going? Already? It's been a while. It's been a while. It's coming to me. We are going. 
for some tired hunting. Our first story of the day. Tyrant hunting, and today we shall begin with our slaughtering of the Greggs family. Starting with, if I can focus on, no, no, don't go away. There we go. Dieter, the Ap the Apico, or something on these lines. I'm not exactly great with that. Anyway, let's start our fight with him. Let's just go with potential, fatigue him, because of course we want that. Then side burst him. And then, and only then, can we go for the big move! Let's start it with the Collapser Edge. Now, Dear Terry the Impegative is actually quite a strong opponent. All things considered, I don't see that about a hell of a lot of opponents. So, if that means anything, if, take it away. Uh, the fact that he's above a cliff can be a bit annoying if you're on ground, especially uh, if you go after this tyrant very early on in Primordia, which I don't expect you to. Um, because Grexes like this are actually pretty scary, especially like I said early on in the game. Thinking it on is actually quite a quite of an achievement if you actually do it. I, I don't think anyone has, as far as I'm aware, and I, I guess it kind of shows of how tough this opponent can potentially be. Uh, I heavily recommend taking this on with scale. Uh, <laughs> with just on ground alone, it takes so much space. It's really hard to move around. And if you're not uh, careful or, uh, with your environment, you can get caught up with uh, the gang of Grexes that are around, around him the entire day of the time, so it can potentially be very bad. Um, if you go after him, I say just go full DPS. There's not really that much of a hard counter to him or something along these lines. You just just be sure you, you put your best, your best at it, because if you don't go at him full strength to begin with, uh, or, or just don't go with him with a specially strong DPS build. He, he might just really give you a whole lot of trouble for absolutely no reason. So, please don't go easy on him. That, that's the only thing I'm asking. And there's a blood ass, so I'm gonna obliterate him. But yeah, outside of that, I may be a little bit too overpowered right now. <laughs> right here in Dead Man's Ingress, you will find... Puzzle the Purple Lightning. Now, Puzzle the Purple Lightning is actually a tyrant that we've encountered before. It's a uh, it's a special kind of tyrant because I believe in Chapter Five when you go into the Dead Man Zone, you have to pass by this specific passage. And if you were just a little bit too close, you may have find yourself uh, encountering this specific tyrant if you weren't specifically launching the wall. Meaning you could be in one hell of a problem if you didn't do this correctly. Now, thankfully for me. I am fine. I've prepared myself very much. I've leveled, we've leveled up so much since then. We're now in scale, fully prepared to take this challenge on, and we shall be, uh, and we shall have no problem with this. Now, do not fall off. Do not fall off. Do not fall off. For the love of God, it's the second time we restart this fucking fight. Please do not. I, I, I beg of you, just chase me. Do whatever the fuck you want, but don't. Don't fall off. You're almost dead, and there we go. Whoo! Uh, that was scarier. <laughs> it's scarier him just falling off than straight up, you know, losing the fight. But yeah, that's our second time of the day. And that is it for now. And the only thing we have left for us to do is a heart to heart of the day. Heart to heart of the day. And today, it is one none other. Then murderous. You're murdering nobody today, murderous. Murder way. Doing a little sightseeing, are we? Well, <laughs> uh, let's propose. Oh, that certainly wouldn't fly. If you want to stump the phone before it ended, no one would be satisfied, except for you, apparently. Can't you see the poor between two men fighting with bare fists? Are there no guns or blades involved? They wait until Fissile was blown. If it's orderly and fair, I wait to any resolve disagreement in this one of ours. Well, you should resolve it with words. You are a librarian in a former life. You must understand that everyone has their limits in the city and for a few ways to blow off steam. Everyone needs a way to release accumulated stress, especially the common folk. Anyway, it looks like the fight ended while we were talking. Now they're still fighting in the background very much. Damn it, Eager, you're useless! You can't even bring your home pocket change! Huh? 
I was just talking to myself. Anyway, enjoy your evening and all that. I'll see you back in the Minister District. Fight Scrubs, Murderous Hot Hot. Complete. They're still. Okay, they're gone now. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be it for now. Thank you everyone for watching. My name is Overgamithy, and I'll see you all next time. Hey! Good taste. I like it.